All right, y'all, welcome to a week in the life with Cougar Distance. This next week, we're actually going on a team training camp to Edisto Beach in South Carolina, where we're gonna be doing runs in the morning, workouts in the evening. We got, I think, 14 guys. We got one house, it's gonna be a lot of fun. So I'm gonna show y'all as much as I can for this week, anything from our morning runs to our evening workouts, just all the guys hanging out, any spontaneous activity, maybe like some fishing. And then we're gonna cook some really good dinners. We gotta feed a lot of guys, so we got a bunch of food. At the end of the week, there's a two mile race so make sure you stay tuned for that and watch till the end of the video that's on the last day y'all this is the longest video we have ever made it's a 30 minute video i just got done editing so i just want to say grab some popcorn make some food do something while watching this relax and enjoy the show Boys, we have just arrived. We have made it. We, we have just arrived. What time is it on? It's 11. It's 11 and yeah. we just got here, y'all. So we're gonna have to get straight to bed. But here's the room. We got me and Nolan in here. Yes, sir. Um, Burrow's and Nolan are on this bed. We got a little bunk bed set up. Um, that's my bed right there, y'all. Uh, so we got a lot of people. Big, big house though. So we got another room in there. We got a bunch of boys setting up. What's up? Alright boys, we're setting up in here. Yes sir. Alright, taking it upstairs. We actually have a, a little second floor, third floor uh, living room, which is kind of weird. We got a nice kitchen in here boys. We got the fridge, dining table. This is actually a great little house. We're hitting the hay right now boys. See y'all at uh, about 7.30. Make some breakfast before tomorrow's morning run. First run at the beach. Um, we're lacing up the shoes right now. Uh, it's 7.50 a.m. We're about to head out for the morning aerobic. You're not working. It's pretty hot out here. About 30 minutes in. Back at the house, seven and a half miles, uh, 55 minutes. We're gonna head out to the beach and play some ultimate frisbee. Uh, not bringing my phone out there, but uh, it's a good run. All right, boys, welcome to uh, today's episode of um, making a waffle with uh, retired cooking bros. All right, this blueberry mix. All right, let's do a little, let's do a little uh, half time, half time. We're over here. With uh, new freshman Judah. New yeah. freshman Judah. Alright, what you making, Judah? We're making grilled cheese. Is it the Aki way? Huh? New the Aki way. New York style. Back home. I'm gonna just eyeball it. Um, I think I still got it. So. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. A little mixer ruby. Boys. Surgical pour. That's butter. Now we, <laughs> and now we wait. Um, we'll see y'all when it's the final product. Strawberries, honey, waffle, blueberry, and syrup. There's nothing better after a morning workout. We going fishing? See. Si. Call, call me amigos. All right, y'all. We got the squad. Um, I got my rod on me. See if we can catch anything. We got about two hours until our evening workout, so we're just gonna we're gonna go try to catch something. Y'all will see if we catch something. That I could make those people <laughs> dance and maybe they'd be happy for a while. But February made me shiver. Hey, zoom in on Rio fishing, bro. Look at the young buck. He's catching his first trout in the ocean in the marsh. Young buck. I can't grab that. Hi, y'all. We're all here on this dock. Sick. Beautiful marsh. So nice out here. Hopefully we can catch some fish. The day, the music died. So bye bye 
Miss American Pie Drove my Chevy to the levee But the levee was dry And then we all Alright boys Didn't catch anything but uh Had a good time Got some, Had a good time We're headed back uh, right now to the house It's just like a five minute walk And we're gonna go get into the evening workout But it's basically just sprints and uh, agility work and stuff like that This evening's workout was water relays Which is basically just two hundreds with a really fast uh, first one hundred Boys, uh, Watts and I are on dinner crew. So we got the salads going right now. Uh, we got the garlic bread. And then we got the lasagnas in the oven. So we're about to serve all the food for all the people. And uh, grub, I'm starving right now, so this lasagna is gonna hit. Beautiful night at Edistar here, y'all. Hey, how's the food, boys? Very good. good. We got the lasagna plates with the bread. Day one was a huge success and tomorrow we're back on schedule to get up at just after six every day the run is at seven in the morning so i like to get up just after six and have a good breakfast and then head off for the run so let's go get nine hours of sleep most important part see y'all in the morning back at it good morning it's just after six right now i'm the only one up uh, the sunrise is really nice this morning i'm gonna just go have a banana so we got to run in like 40 minutes and then but uh yeah it's nice today to wake up before the sunrise, before it gets too hot. Alright boys, we got 50 minutes on deck today. Uh, we got up a little bit earlier, so it's not as hot. We got a nice uh, sand road, feeling good. All right, y'all, we're about to go hit the beach, uh, do some agility work, some calisthenics. Uh, we'll see y'all back here, about uh, 6.7 miles, that's all I run. All right, boys, it's uh, 9.35, finished up our run, beach workout and everything. Uh, we did ultimate frisbee on the beach and then some calisthenics. I'm about to do a little band workout and then uh, we'll get some food uh, and hydrate. You know, we out here refueling after our morning run. Yes, sir. Good frisbee session, getting some speed in. You know, I did some calisthenics, you know. Gonna go take a nap. Everyone is taking a nap, bro. And then I'm gonna walk in for this tempo tonight. Yeah. yeah so we probably got a little harder workout um, tonight, maybe. It's not confirmed. Um, so everybody's just gonna rest up before tonight's workout. Everybody's a little tired, so we're all gonna go take a nap and then um, see y'all after. We got a little tempo workout. Um, you're not allowed to use your watch, so there's a four mile loop, and it's a competition to see who can get their pace down the best. Minus 520, so 520 for four miles, y'all, without a watch. We're gonna see how good I can pace it. Last year I was two seconds off, so as you saw, it's uh, it was just pouring. It's letting up a little bit though, but at least it's cool. Alright boys, we just wrapped up and the winner was Asa Meller with the pacing job. Asa and Nolan were um, how many seconds off? 
Two seconds off Two seconds the pace. Pass. Hey, so here are the winners, boys, <laughs> of the pacing challenge. All right, so what, what was the pace y'all were prescribed? Uh, six, Ooh. 10 pace. Target time was 24.40 for a four mile. Yeah. All right, so the boys did a really good job. I actually came in last place, y'all. Um, I, was, I was 30 seconds off my time, 30 seconds slow. So prescribed pace was 5.20. Um, ended up going 5.27, I guess. But everybody did really good. I was the farthest back, so the rest of the guys were like five and 15 seconds off. Um, but everybody felt good. It was, uh, it was a good workout. All right, no, what day is it? Taco Tuesday! Yes, sir. All right, boys, so uh, after the workout, since we did it late, it's, uh, it's dinner time, it's 7.30. Uh, so we got tacos that uh, my dad cooked up. And after we ate dinner, we had a little team meeting about cross-country tactics, and our coach wanted the upperclassmen to lead this, so that's what we're doing here. Then after that, we watched Without Limits, the movie, and then we went off to bed. And we will see you guys Wednesday morning. All right, y'all. Good morning. Um, a little later than yesterday. Uh, it's 9.17 right now. I just woke up. Pour myself a belter of a coffee, y'all. It's 9.17 today. Today is our day that we only have one easy run, kind of like a rest day. And we go into Charleston, which is just north of Edisto. So we're going in Charleston today, y'all, and it should be a fun day. All we've got on deck today is a 45-minute run, and then we'll go out to eat in Charleston, and we go to, like, a ropes uh, adventure course. Um, so it should be a fun day, y'all. We'll take you along. Just waking up and taking my morning easy with some coffee after uh past few mornings. It'd be up uh, three hours ago, so just taking it easy right now, sitting outside. Enjoying uh, being at the beach. Hey boys. What? Yeah. Uh, Stroop sent me to come wake y'all up. Uh, yo, Burrs, you got 25 minutes to um, uh, make a sandwich, make breakfast, uh, and like get ready. <laughs> Alright boys, 50 minute run on deck. Easy 50 minute run. Yeah, like last year they had to because they had another season. Oh, yeah, that's true. But they're not going to be as good. Uh, 51 minutes in the bank, about six and a half miles at like eight minute pace. Uh, today was just supposed to be a really easy run. So I think the heart rate was like 130 or something. Uh, but uh, good recovery. Uh, now we'll eat some lunch. Charleston right now. I got the fit with the fanny pack and nice shirt. Um, yes, yeah, so we're just gonna walk around till dinner. Uh, we're just chilling though. Oh, All right, y'all. Tonight is a uh, goal setting session. So you write down an easy goal, uh, a medium goal. That's like you know, it's a little harder, but it's still achievable. And then the last one is like very difficult, but it's still possible. We're about to, we're about to write down everybody's goals. Okay. All right, y'all. So as you see. Those are my goals for the season. My easiest goal is to get the school record, which is 1457. Um, I'm putting this as my easy goal because, by the way, my training's going right now um, compared to our previous school record. Holder, I'm just crushing it, doing really well, and I believe that should be very attainable and not too much of a problem for me to get. I think I can get past that pretty easy. My medium goal is to be the state champion this year. I'm putting that at medium because obviously it's an on the day thing. So I do believe I'm the best in the state and that I'm gonna win, but I gotta show up on that day and I gotta win versus 200 or so guys. So that's a medium goal. And my hard goal, really the only thing that is actually really, really hard, but still possible is NXN. And I think NXR is more reasonable. So I put NXN as my hardest goal and that would be really hard if I show up on that day. Who knows, still possible, but it'd be very hard. Those are my goals, boys. It's 8.50 right now, headed to bed for uh, just after 6 a.m. wake up tomorrow morning. So we will see y'all then. Uh, today was a good rest day. Uh, we just had a 50 minute run and then, you know, cruising around Charleston. So yeah, we'll see y'all tomorrow uh, back at the early morning grind.
All right, good morning, y'all. Thursday morning. Um, we got about 30 minutes till the run. Eating a little, uh, eating a banana right now, just chilling outside. Um, I think we just got 50 minutes on deck this morning. Uh, pretty easy run. Uh, really nice outside, nice sunrise. Uh, not much else, just getting into this run and get working. Hey, just started the run knowing how we feel. Really Alright boys, no one's out here on the golf course, um, so we get some soft surface in. Uh, it's a nice morning. Uh, beautiful golf course, y'all. Really a lot of things. Alright y'all, 6.3 miles, 7.50 pace, 50 minutes. You know, obviously feeling that fatigue, but uh, also taking it a little easy. We're about to head down to the beach, do some calisthenics, push-ups and stuff, and then play some frisbee, and I'll head back and fuel back up. We're back from the beach. We got back at like 9.30, so we did uh, push-ups, planks, and um, an ab routine, and then we played about 20 minutes of ultimate frisbee to get like agility and speed work in. So I'm about to fuel up, make a waffle and some fruit, and then do about a 30 minute stretch and roll out because we got that race in two days and I'm trying to, you know, have the legs feeling good. Do a long stretch and then we'll probably take a nap um, and just recover for the next session. That's what we're doing this week. You run hard, work out, and then you just recover, build up for the next session, work out hard, sleep. All right, y'all, so we lit the grill, making some patties right now, some smash burgers. We're fueling up for um, this this evening's workout. Basically, boys, our diet as runners is we eat as many carbs as we can and as much protein as we can, um, and that's about it. So, you know, we had a, a lot of, you know, bagels, bread, all that stuff this morning, and now we're uh, making meat for protein. So. Oh, those are actually good, those are actually good. It was almost too late, though. All right, burger review. Yo, real, let me sit there. Burger's good. Never mind. Oh Shout out to Coach Troop for getting the charcoal, lighting the grill. About to dig in. All right, y'all. So the evening workout tonight. Um, obviously, Coach Traz makes these. Uh, he makes the workouts fun so that they're bearable for some of the kids. Cause you know we're doing doubles. So today, kind of random, but basically it'll be like a fartlet kind of thing. So it's kind of a complicated game, but basically we're gonna have a deck of cards. Whatever you pick on the number, say it's a two, then it'll be a two minute tempo. Say it's a six, six minute tempo, and I think we're doing four of those. One to one rest. So workout will probably be anywhere from probably 15 to 30 minutes long, something like that. Uh, it's nice out here, it's cooler. We got a lot of rest today, so we should feel good. There's the afternoon workout, y'all. End of the week is coming, sadly, but um, let's crush this workout and uh, get the dub, obviously. <laughs> So after the workout, workout went great. Um, after the workout, we got back. I did the band workout and then um, we did a nice long stretch and roll out again. And then I got in the shower and I just did, I doused my legs with some hot and cold water, switching on and off to drain the lactic. And then we've just been chilling. Um, I iced, you know, some of my joints, my knees, uh, I iced my shins just to, you know, nothing's hurting. I just want to prevent because we're running on a lot of pavement. 14 miles in today, y'all. And that's not just easy running, that's like intense sprinting stuff too. We get really good working at the beach always. And then we're done, obviously we take a couple days off of running. One cross training day in there. But yeah, work's been great, been working, uh, we've been working hard, recovering hard at the same time, y'all. We're about to eat a nice big dinner. Um, we were watching some Callum Elson while I was um, icing. Shout out to The Distance Project, favorite YouTuber. So we're gonna eat some shrimp and then do team goals tonight. And then we're head to bed for the last day of training before the race. All right, boys, we out here. Shrimp dinner. Shrimp dinner with the new hats, bro. Hey, Gavin. Hell yeah. New hats. Yeah, so the boys uh, made us some bread, rice, shrimp. Uh, you know we're about to grub, like usual. 
All right, boys, we just wrapped up team goals. It's just after nine. I'm headed to bed. Got to get up at uh, just after six tomorrow. But uh, tonight was great. It was a great day. Great day of training. We're going to hit the sack, and we will see y'all on Friday, the day before the race. All right, good morning, boys. Uh, we only got 45 on deck this morning, so uh, shortest run of the trip. Just gonna take it easy uh, the day before the race. Just getting some easy miles in. Back on the golf course. That's awesome. All right, boys, that's 45 minutes in. Uh, now we're headed down to the beach for the workout and the uh, plank competition. All right, y'all, so we just finished up the um, the beach workout. Uh, we did the plank competition, and uh, I got second with a 12 minute, 48 second plank. And uh, of course, the man who beat me was my father. 13 minute plank. Um, but yeah, Burroughs got third with what, in about 11, 11.30 plank, somewhere around there. Jasper got fourth with about a seven minute plank. Arms are dead, I can't even feel them. Uh, so we're gonna go refuel and uh, stretch. And um, hopefully we'll feel better then. All right, all right boys. We've done um, all the hard work this morning and now it is time to rest up. Like usual, we're taking the daily nap. It's 10.37 a.m. Pretty early nap, but uh, early awake, so. Friday has been a very restful day. We just watched the movie, chill upstairs. Ate a bunch of food, uh, refueled, and just rested. Didn't do much else, just preparing for the evening workout and then preparing for Saturday morning. So we're going out to do the evening workout right now. We're gonna get dressed, we'll see y'all out there. All right, boys, we're out here on the warm up. For the afternoon workout. Hey, how we feeling, boys? Yeah, a couple people might drop, y'all. Boys, we're back at it again in the heat of the day. Getting ready for the evening workout. Yes, sir. Um, we're playing a uh, blackjack poker with uh, running. So we'll get some good speed in right before the race. Down at the beach. We are out here. What about like high tide. Right? High tide. We're out here. We got our bucket set up. We got to do about an 100 meter sprint. Uh, juke out Jasper. Get a uh, get a card. Come back here. Add up some tokens. Uh, it's kind of a funny game, but um, it's fun. Doing like 100 meter, 200 meter reps folks with some um, agility in there. So we're basically just getting that quick first step and some speed work in. Yup. Edistone might be underwater today. Edistone might, we might flood. We might flood Edistone. Made it back to the house at six. It was nice that Friday was the easiest workout because we're gonna need it to be for the race tomorrow. So we did 10 minute warm up, five minute cool down, and then about two miles of sprints, mostly sprints, a little bit of jogging. We're back at the house eating dinner right now at six which is good we got in the ocean and the waves were good you know so we were crashing out on the waves uh, that was fun we got some ocean time in we're gonna eat a lot of wings right now boys we have like 500 pounds no nah, not actually but we got a lot of wings to feed everyone probably 12 each less wings i'll tell you that yeah ask for judas hey are we eating good yo b yeah it's judas are we eating good hell yeah bro yeah we eating good it's 8 45 tonight y'all um i'm gonna get up at 6 a.m the gun goes off at 8, so I'm getting up at 6 so that I can get some good food in and then let it process so I have some fuel, but then I'm also not yakking at the finish line. So it's a full two-mile race, not like a 3,200. Basically my plan, the uh, since we've had a huge week of training, a lot of intense stuff, obviously I'm not hoping for a PR or anything. It's usually pretty hard. Last year I ran 10.25 here. So the goal is under 9.33. That's the goal. Um, so I'm going to take it out in a 4.45 for the first mile. That's my plan. And then after that for 400 meters, I'm gonna just try to increase my cadence because I'll probably be slowing down a little bit. And then at the turn for 800 meters, just try to keep the pace, survive, but you know, also be thriving. Try to just keep the pace at like 
I don't want to go past like 455. And then we'll have a cone at 400 meters to go. And y'all know me when I hit that bell lap. So with 400 to go, I'm going to just try to crank. And hopefully that will put me under 933. That's all I got to say. And uh, I'm sure we'll get some other people how they're feeling in the morning. But we're about to get a full nine hours. And then we will see you guys on race day, the last day of the week in the life. Start laying it down. I know you're faster than that, Michael. Stride, stride, stride. Come on! There you go. Come on! Come on! Yes, sir. All right, boys. You're here with the one and two finishers from the beach trip. So y'all, we got the goal. Um, we're in a 931. The goal was under 933. Um, so we did that perfectly last year. I ran a 10.25, so we ran a lot faster than last year. That is on pace for a 14.45, I think. All right, and so last year I ran a 10.25, which is on pace for a 16.09, which was about my average 5K last year. So the math is that kind of your B strip two mile time is gonna be your average pace for your 5K. And that comes out to a 14.45. So that'd be, I'd be very pleased if my average was a 14.45 and it's looking like it. Um, so yeah, that was great. Um, a 9.31 under these conditions is really good for me. Um, you know, after doubles every day, all week, a 9.31 I'm very pleased with. Um, that was a very good time for me. I actually went out in like 4.34 or something. So we went out really fast, I didn't really mean to, but um, that was the you know first trial um, or first rehearsal. Uh, of the year for racing and I'm as ready as I'll ever be I'm ready to race I'm ready to go um, and that should show it uh, you know a 931 on tire legs is really good really happy with that everybody's packing up we're about to head out um, it was an amazing week with all the boys I can't wait to get editing this video 
So if this is it, y'all, then um, peace out and what a week it was. And we will see you guys when school starts back up and the season starts. But uh, I really hope you guys enjoyed. Um, this was a really fun week. Um, you know, I'm also a little homesick, so I'm excited to get home, see all my people. But peace out. Yeah, I have a, I have anything. Good. Oh, definitely like you yesterday. And um, right. Is that right? Right.